discovery. Now before I'm going into the details of my very first perfume, I just want to let you know what this channel is about. So I want to heavily focus on you. That means you can leave in the comments which perfumes I should review, what you think about episodes and what metrics, what other metrics I should include. Now I have a ton of metrics here. I think we have at least 15 on how I evaluate the perfume and I just want to make this as simple as possible. I will not talk about the perfume, how only insiders will understand it. A lot of perfume channels are just focused on just nailing a perfume down to its last nose and then they come up with saying this smells like Eaglewood and uh, Styrax, whatever. The problem with this is that 98% of people don't know how Styrax or how Eaglewood smells. So I will explain how the perfume smells in a simple way, in a way how somebody wearing that perfume would be perceived by society. So let me know if I should include other metrics of the ones which are already there can be found on my website. Then I want to give you an overview about the quality of perfumes. You cannot say that artificially created scents are of a worse quality than scents which come from natural materials. There is no good or bad, there are just notes, like you have notes on a keyboard or a piano. So what you have is your perfume consists of ingredients and those ingredients have two major factors. One factor is the vapor pressure, which means that you have, you have a variety of smells. Um, let's say you have vanilla and you have banana smell and each one of those ingredients 
come with its own vapor pressure. It's basically at which speed and pressure a smell vaporizes into the atmosphere. In some sense, do this more quickly than others. test our very first perfume. This is 2787 perfumes flaneur. Now the thing is like I have not tried the perfume before and I will never try it before but what I will do is before I will record the session I will put a sheet of the perfume um, somewhere else so I can later determine how the dry down performs. Never rub the perfume, it destroys the structure of it. Let it rest for a while so that the alcohol can disappear. The first thing I get is like honey. Mixed with a lot of air volume. And what I mean is like it smells like fresh air. And if you smell, you get an impression of a big volume. Intensity for now is fine not super intensive so for now overall this is just a very sweet honey fresh air smell From the fantasy I have, I get a weird impression of like almost a seaside, but not really a believable seaside. It's like somehow artificial, although the ingredients itself are not smelling artificial. So this is definitely not a complex smell. It's Plain and simple, plain and simple, fresh with a little sweetness. Next metric we have is uh, sex appeal for women. Now, if something would even smell sexy in this perfume, it would be the freshness, but the freshness itself is very neutral so I wouldn't say that this perfume is a perfume which has sex appeal then the sex appeal men virtually zero I'm also sometimes too much reminded of like a sanitary environment when I smell this perfume. So it's something if I would smell somebody who would smell if if I would smell somebody who would smell like this I would not really appreciate it.
or not that I would not appreciate, but it would just not, not like create a memory in me. The next metric is, is this perfume good for working environment? I would say yes, it's not like forcing something onto another person. It's not loud, it's pretty calm, so yeah, I can recommend it for a working environment. For sport, not really. Then for parties, for parties, definitely not. You're not standing out with this perfume. It is not a perfume that evokes memories of excess or fun it's it's just not suitable for parties then for dinner yeah i would say it depends like if you have a dinner like a date dinner then definitely not but if you're on a family dinner or something like this yeah would be okay And for sex, no, definitely not. For relaxation, this perfume is not relaxing and it's also not exciting. It's really plain in the middle. Then I respectable if you wear this perfume. No, you don't gain respect in others if somebody would smell this. It's just not. It's just not. It, it just shows no character. And that's why in any case what character you are you cannot express yourself with it then the style that goes with the perfume plain casual nothing exciting the dress colors would be light blue or white then the age the age would be has a wide variety because it is not really characteristic and expressing something there is no specific age which you can or should wear it then uh, is the perfume overpriced for the performance 180 bucks for 100 milliliter definitely overpriced then the fantasy I get from the perfume yeah as I already mentioned it's like a, a vague memory of a beach but it's not really triggering like intense memories in, in my brain and then if this perfume is too much for small rooms like if you're in an office environment and you have the perfume on if it's like totally like occupying all the air in the room and so far I sprayed twice no I wouldn't say so then we have one more metric which is longevity and I will wear this perfume and then I will see how it performs and I will upload the results in my perfume library which is on my website. Last but not least we have the dry down. I waited now for over an hour to see how it performs. Yeah it fades away very quickly so the results it's not a perfume I can recommend.
new things Tired of the same 